red meat and type 2 diabetes. Today, I'm diving into a topic that is super important for all you health enthusiasts out there. Let's talk about how red meat could be increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes. First off, red meat is often touted as a great source of protein and essential nutrients. But recent studies suggest that consuming too much red meat might actually be doing more harm than good. Yeah, you heard me right. So, what's the deal? Scientists have found that the high levels of saturated fats and certain chemicals in red meat can lead to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a key player in the development of type 2 diabetes. Basically, your body struggles to use insulin properly, which can lead to higher blood sugar levels. And it's not just the meat itself. Processed red meats like bacon, sausages, and hot dogs are even worse. These foods often contain added preservatives and sodium, which can negatively impact your overall health. Now you might be thinking, but I love my steaks and burgers. Don't worry, I get it. But moderation is key. Instead of cutting out red meat entirely, try to limit your intake. Opt for lean cuts and balance your diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Also, consider incorporating other protein sources into your meals. Think poultry, fish, beans, and nuts. These alternatives can provide the protein you need without the added risks associated with red meat. One more thing to keep in mind, cooking methods matter. Grilling and frying red meat at high temperatures can create harmful chemicals called advanced glycation end products, or ages. These ages are linked to inflammation and can further increase your diabetes risk. So try baking, steaming, or boiling your meat instead. All right, let's recap. Consuming too much red meat can increase your risk of type 2 diabetes due to high levels of saturated fats, preservatives, and harmful cooking methods. To reduce your risk, limit your red meat intake, choose lean cuts, and incorporate a variety of protein sources into your diet. Remember, your health is in your hands. Make informed choices and take steps towards a healthier lifestyle. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on your experience with red meat.